we are going to scare, surprise, prank, whatever the kids for April Fool's Day. This is mean. I feel like this might be a little bit mean. Hey everybody, it's Jill from It's the Donnellys and I have an amazing video. I'm so excited about this video. Mike and I have been playing this for a couple of days now. We are going to scare, surprise, prank, whatever the kids for April Fool's Day. So they will have no idea. They have no idea what's going on. So each one of them is gonna get their own prank, scare, surprise, whatever it is. Um, so I ordered a few things off of Amazon and they arrived today. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Step one, ready for this one? Okay, this is gonna be Brennan's. Look what I have. This is a Halloween, I don't know what it is, a ghost, a mummy or something, and he lights up and we're gonna hang him in Brennan's bathroom so when he wakes up tomorrow morning, it's it's still dark when he wakes up to go to school. The cats are trying to come in. Come on in, buddy, buddy. <laughs> and when he wakes up, he'll go into the bathroom, which is still dark, and this is gonna be lit up and hanging from the ceiling, so I'm pretty excited about that. What do you think, Edward? Look at Edward's like, what is going on? All right. So we're trying to be nice and quiet because the kids just went to bed. So I want to make sure that they don't hear it. They have no idea what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. I just took it out of the box and I'm going to assemble it. They say I've got to like put the arms together. So something, I put one arm in here already. Now I'm going to put the other arm on the other side. Edward went over and slept in his little, you can see him in the corner. He's sleeping in his little bed. I think he's like, dude, what's going on? So we got this ghost thing to work, right? But it has a sensor. Oh my gosh, the kitties don't like it. It has a sensor. So I'm hoping that I can hang it up and then when Brennan walks in, he'll hit the sensor, trip the sensor, and it'll start to freak out. So we're gonna test it now with Mike. He's gonna walk in the bathroom and we're gonna see if it works. So hold on. Ready? I'm gonna stand in there. Oh shoot, hold on. Okay, so you, you can shut the door. And then, here, I'll shut the door. When you hear it stop, when you hear it stop. Ready? Yes. Oh, I'm waking up. I'm Brandon, I'm waking up. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I guess I'll jump in the shower. <laughs> it didn't work. Well, you had to point it. You had to point it down here. You got to point it up. <laughs> All right, we might need to try that again. Yeah. You were a good Brennan. <laughs> you gotta move it. Should we tell Brennan to do some jumpy jumps? Wave. Wave at it. We're gonna go hang Brennan's thing up in just a minute, but this is Katie's prank. Do you see this? This is an air horn. We are gonna rig this up to her door. So when she wakes up in the morning and she opens her door to go take a shower, it's gonna blow. <laughs> so excited. So this is the deal. Katie never gets scared with anything. If you guys know, we had tried to put um, cockroaches in the bathtub the other day and that didn't work and she just doesn't get scared from anything, but this is going to freak her out just because it's so loud. So I'm pretty excited. This is probably the most complicated one we've got going on because we have to rig it. Like we have to tie string to the wall and go around the air horn and then to her doorknob. And I haven't been able to practice this. So it's like one and done. I can't practice it at all because the air horn will wake up everybody right now. So we're gonna tie it around. So when she opens the door, uh, it's gonna go off. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have an eye hook. I took this little eye hook and I tied string to it. So I'm gonna twist the eye hook into the wall, run the string around the air horn and to the door. So when she opens it, it's gonna pull the string. It's gonna push the air horn towards the wall. In theory, I hope this works and it's gonna make a really loud sound. So I'm gonna rig that up right now. I checked and she's asleep. Ryan's asleep too and Brennan's asleep so I hope nobody hears what I'm doing. It's a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. Well, I 
tried and tried and tried to get the eye hook in. It just didn't work. The plaster behind the wall is way too strong. So I'm gonna use this screwdriver and a little teeny screw. could be my favorite one. It's hard to choose. Okay, every morning for breakfast, Ryan eats cereal and he pours the milk in his cereal. Tomorrow morning, he's gonna think he's pouring milk in his cereal, but in reality, he's gonna pour in sour cream mixed with water. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in this milk container. Hopefully Brennan won't use it in the morning because he eats cereal. So maybe I'll catch him after we scare him with the ghost and let him know not to put this milk in his cereal. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze his buddy. Okay, down. Now I've never done this before, so I really hope that it mixes into like a milk looking smooth substance. But I guess we'll find out. Hey, get out of here. This isn't for you. It's for Ryan. No, Alice. She's totally been my assistant all night. She's loving Brennan's ghost. And she loves the string on Katie's door. She better not pull it. That would be terrible. right here and then I'm gonna pour the fake milk back into the milk container. Oh shucks we only have a little left but it'll be plenty for Ryan cereal. All the prep is done, everything I need to do. Katie's air horn is on her door, Brennan's ghost is hanging from the bathroom, and Ryan's fake milk is in the refrigerator. So now all I have to do is go to bed and wake up early tomorrow morning and be there to catch the surprise. Ooh, catch the reactions, I hope it's good. I'm a little bit nervous, I hope they don't get mad at me. I hope it's all in good fun. It is. <laughs> so anywho, um, I'm gonna try to sleep. I'm gonna be so anxious about getting up. So I'm gonna set my alarm. Katie's waking up at 5.50 a.m. So I'm gonna set my alarm for probably 5.35 just to make sure I'm down here and the cameras are ready so we can catch every single shot. All right, you guys, good night. Stay tuned to see what happens tomorrow. <laughs>
point in doing that. <laughs> April Fools. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Did it scare you? No. Why not? It's really loud. Okay, come on. Oh. You're not good at that. Ah. Thank you. I'm gonna Happy April Fool's, sweetheart. Try to get them with a prank like that. It's probably Ryan. Okay. I got a different one for him. Mm -hmm. Have a good shower. I told you she was really hard to get. I thought for sure that was going to get her. Yes, I'll happy I'll happily make your lunch. Oh, <laughs> Isn't he funny? No. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> okay, love you. All right, you guys, so we marginally successfully <laughs> completed the first two of the April Fool's Day pranks. So Katie, okay, Brendan definitely scared. Now Ryan just woke up and he's in the shower. So I'm gonna prepare his breakfast right over here. And then he's going to um, hopefully be shocked and chagrined when he tries his milk. and he sat down before I was supposed to. So then he went, he sat down with the other milk and then he went to get his clothes on. So I mixed the, poured the other milk and put the sour cream milk in. All right, I'll get you more cereal. Darn it. All right, so I'm one for three. One for three? One for three. What happened? I only, well, Katie, when you opened her door, an, an air horn blew and she didn't get scared. But Ra Brennan, I hung a um, ghost in his bathroom and he got very scared. You ghost in his bathroom? I did. How? Yeah. I'll have to show you. Good Brennan? Look at yeah. Good look. That's the air horn. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh All three of us jumped. <laughs> yes. You're freaking the cats out. That's all right. Uh, all right, you guys. We hope you have a wonderful April I'm Fool's Day. Oh sure. gosh, not in anybody's ear. Um, if you want to try these I'm pranks, not. you can try them. I hope you're more successful than I was. My kids are just not easy to prank. You are. Uh, come on, doesn't that look like milk? So no, it doesn't. It looks chunky. <laughs> I tried to mix it. I tried to mix it last night without you hearing. Well, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching our April Fool's Day prank video. Like I said, I think I was one for three. So but they were kind of good ideas. Comment down below if you think they were good ideas and if you might want to try them. If you know someone that might want to try them, please share this video with them. It's the link or the button right down below, the little share button. And if you want to spread some happy today, share that video around. You guys, thanks so much for watching. We are, oh yeah, come on in, you're playing. So our posting schedule, we post Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So be sure to hit the, what'd you say? I said Fridays. Oh, five days a week. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to click that little notification bell if you would like to receive notifications to your inbox every time we post. All right, so thanks so much for watching again. Happy April Fool's Day to all of you. I hope you got pranked or you were a prankster <laughs> yourself. All right, take care, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.